people sometimes wonder whether vegetarians and vegans are at more risk for iron deficiency anemia than non-vegetarians. Well, the fact is, they're not. There's iron deficiency anemia among a number of North Americans, but it isn't more prevalent among vegetarians and vegans. Nonetheless, we do need to take care about where we get iron in our iron sources and that they're well absorbed. The um, heme iron is not, as it turns out, the ideal source of iron compared with the non-heme iron in plant foods. We absorb the non-heme iron in plant foods with a little bit more variability. If we need more, we can absorb more, and if we are um, full, we're, we're um, stocked up with iron, then we absorb a little less. We can also increase our iron absorption of, from plant foods by using vitamin C rich foods like red peppers, citrus fruit. So for example, in a stir fry, if you've got some red pepper, some onion, that increases iron absorption. Or if you have a, a smoothie that has tofu in it and it has oranges or orange juice or mango, papaya, that'll increase the iron absorption from the uh, iron-rich food, the soy food, for example. Some other iron-rich foods are all the different legumes, the beans, peas, lentils, and these can be made into soups and stews and are very, very tasty and often with vitamin C-rich foods eaten at the same meal. We also increase our iron absorption by cooking in a cast iron pot when we're cooking up these things. So iron turns out not to be a problem on plant-based diets and people do wonderfully well. We have slightly lower uh, serum ferritin levels, but that, as it turns out, might be an, a, an advantage. It's linked with reduced risk of uh, type 2 diabetes, of insulin resistance um, seems to be better, and we also find that, that iron is a pro-oxidant, so we may not want it floating around in our blood vessels in the same way and in large amounts.